back today and I'm going to be doing a video on my two most worn makeup looks and I wanted to show you guys this look too because if you've been watching my videos since the beginning you will probably when you think about my channel or me you might think about this look and I have changed it a little bit since the beginning of my YouTube channel so I wanted to show you how I've evolved with it and calmed down the eyes maybe did the hair different so yeah and also both the looks I'm going to be showing you today are super super quick um, like literally take me two minutes and I'll show you all the products I use for them and the way I wear my hair with them so I hope you guys really like this video. Um, let's talk about the top I'm wearing. This is just from Helmet Lang. I got it on sale last year. Um, and I think that's, yeah, that's it. This is my necklace from my shop. And these are my bracelets from my shop as well. Um, the Ula Lumiere. And this is the Charmed, I'm sure, but with an Aurora Borealis crystal. So if you would rather have that, you can just put that in the notes section that you'd rather have the Aurora Borealis crystal. I also have a pink one, so if you guys would rather have a pink one, I can do that for you as well. And then um, this is the Flawless Diamond, and then London is Calling Big Chain. So that's it, and I hope you guys love this video, and I hope you guys are able to use my like little tricks. I don't even know if they're tricks. <laughs> anyway, so stay tuned. So I'm going to get started on my first look, which is the my beachy, everyday, kind of non-fuss look. The look that I wear every day. Um, it's been months and months, and this is what exactly what I've worn. So um, it's like a real look, my real look. Also, um, to save time, I already put on my lotion on my face and the primer. And I'm going to put the links below to these or the name. And you guys can pause it now, actually, and just look at the name of these. I put this one on first, and then I put this one on. And I love this primer. It really gives you like a nice matte finish, but it's not too matte where you look chalky, but it's also a really good um, product so it doesn't clog clog your pores and things like that. Okay, for my beachy look, for this look I'm gonna be using two different foundations and I kind of have a method to my madness for this, I'd say. And I'm gonna try to give myself more of like a bronze tone and that's why I'm using two different uh, foundations. The first one I'm using is the Giorgio, Giorgio Armani Mastro in number four. I'm going to take just like four drops, small drops, and put it around my face. Okay, so that's the first foundation. The second foundation is the Yves Saint Laurent, and it's a number B60. And this one has the one with the touche clay, eclat in it. Eclat, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's really a kind of a heavy foundation, I feel like, in comparison to the Mastro, which is more like skin. And so um, I've stopped using this, but even though it is nice, I just use a really tiny bit. Like, sometimes I don't even pump it. Sometimes I just, like, wipe from what's around the edge. Um, and I'm just going to put the, because this one's dark, I use this one for when I'm tanning. I'm just going to take a little bit of it. Maybe I need to pump a tiny bit, but literally that much. Nothing. It even looks like, maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's see. And I'm not even going to like fuss about where I put it. I'm just kind of trying to darken my skin a little bit. Then next I'm going to use a little bit of this MAC strobe cream for this and I recently rediscovered this in my makeup box um, and I actually like it. It's very like summery and I'm just going to put a little bit on here and just put it kind of on the front and uh, cheekbone. See how it gives that illuminating look? And you know what? I think it does last last pretty long throughout the day because when I go to reapply makeup I do look dewy or uh, powder. And my eyebrows, I use this Anastasia palette. I got a new one because I finished my last one. Um, and this is the blonde palette. And when I use this, um, this middle color, I kind of just use both of them like that um, and kind of just mix it.
I'm just the kind of person who can't really be bothered during the day with makeup, so um, I'm really trying to show you kind of how not careful I am. So that's my eyebrows. I don't really, um, I don't have eye any hair on the ends of my eyebrows, but I'm not gonna fill them in or anything. I just kind of take it as is. I'm not going to like draw on eye eyebrows every single day. That's just me though. Um, just like if I have a blemish, I probably won't cover it because I can't stand like the cakey blemish that I see on some people. Um, it just like is a pet peeve for me. I don't know. And I just feel like if you have a blemish, so what? Okay, then for both looks, you guys are going to see that I'm using this L'Oreal, and I think it's the telescopic um, eyeliner, and it's all dirty because I use it so much, but it's just L'Oreal, and it's in black. I'm just going to start on the edge of my eye and flick out on both sides. I'm not going to draw a line across my eye or anything like that. So that's it. Kind of looks like I put a lot of effort in it, doesn't it? To me it does. <laughs> I'm using um, this mascara and it's by Origins and I told you guys about this one or I showed you guys that I was using this one in my last video or in a couple videos ago. I really like this. It's very kind of like a daytime, not too, uh, it doesn't give you like humongous eyelashes but it separates them really well and gives you like a very young, fresh look. And I'm not going to do what I normally do and put like uh, four coats on the end. I'm just going to put one coat over my entire eye. So that's the um, mascara. Now the blush is the best part, actually. Um, this is Stila Lilium, and I use this all the time, literally. I don't, I can't think of something I love more. I used to love my Chanel Tan de Soleil. Like, the way I loved my Tan de Soleil two years ago, I love this. See that? Isn't that so just, like, romantic looking and pretty? I love that color so much. Then I'm going to put on lip gloss, and it's usually one of the one of these three. Um, and I'm going to show you this one. Actually, everyone told me it's sold out, but I'm going to show it to you just in case I can, you guys can find it. It's number nine four nine Bijou 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 um, by L'Oreal, and it's just a clear lip balm, but it gives off a lot of shine. So this would be like the if I didn't want to fuss with lip gloss, I would throw this on. But just for the video, I'm going to put on this Chanel one because you guys know about the duck lip one that I use all the time. So I'm going to show you the Chanel one. And this one is number 437. That's it. And then my, in my makeup bag for this look during the day, I would just carry this with me. And then my Chanel translucent powder and my Lilium. And that's how I would retouch throughout the day. But when I use my translucent powder, I just do it here, here, and here. I don't like reapply foundation because that's when it starts to get really cakey and I probably only would use this twice through the day because the more you put on, like the cakier you become. So that's that look. Um, this is probably how I would wear it with my braid like this during the day if I was just gonna run to the office. Um, you know, very casual. For my other look, it's going to be something you guys really, really like, and it's typical. I think it's very, like, classic me, um, since you, what you guys have seen from, from the very beginning, but I've really toned down the eyes and the cheeks and everything, so I think you guys will appreciate that. Okay, 
for my second look, um, I'm bare faced again. I just put on the primer and the lotion. This time, I'm not going to use any of my dark YSL. I'm just going to use the Giorgio Armani Mastro again in number four. Also, for this look, um, I definitely would not w do this look if I had, like, if sometimes my skin is more like pink certain days. Um, and so if I had like a pink tone to my I probably wouldn't do, that. wouldn't wear this look for that day. So unlike with the last look, with this look I definitely want to make sure that I have a matte face. So I'm just going to take my Chanel translucent powder afterwards. I'm not going to really swipe it everywhere, I'm going to blot only because I don't like a heavy makeup feel or look. I'm going to use the same palette for my eyebrows, the Anastasia. For my eyes, I'm going to use the telescopic eyeliner again. And this time I'm going to use my Shocking by YSL. Uh, this is really expensive, so I really like it, but it's expensive. <laughs> and it does dry out really, really fast. So this one's about 50% dried out. And I feel like when it gets to be about halfway dried out is when it works the best because it really gives you a thick and super fluffy, like really fluffy eye eyelash. And also when I'm doing, putting my on, when I'm putting on mascara with the shocking, I'm not like swipe, I'm not swiping this through the eyelashes, I'm more like bouncing it, I feel like, um, kind of teasing my eyelashes more, and I feel like that's what gives it more of like a fluffy look. Okay, so, so far pretty much everything is the same, right? Now here comes the differences. I'm going to use my NARS Luster blush. So just a little hint of like a bronzy peach color. I'm not going to use Gabrielle today. I'm going to use my Russian red because that's what I wore in the picture that I posted on my Facebook and Instagram yesterday. Hopefully I can get it straight the first time because it's so hard to put, so difficult to put on lipstick, red lipstick. Okay, so that is the second look, and I feel like both were equally as easy. Um, this one is like, I feel like really classic HRH collection. You guys know I've been wearing red lips and um, like lots of black eye mascara and wing tips since um, the beginning. So I want to show you how I kind of wear these looks still, this looks still, but it changed it a little bit. Um, also, so my hair. Um, I would actually, how did I wear my hair the other day? Oh yeah, so 
I love this hairstyle on me now because I have my um, irresistible, irresistible Me hair extensions in. Um, the ones that I will link to the bottom. A lot of people have purchased these and it's like the best ever. So if you guys are thinking about having putting extensions in, definitely go to the link below and that's where I get these. Uh, it just gives it like more thickness and I actually um, chose like longer hair too just because it's fun. So whatever, I'm owning it, right? Um, who cares? And um, so yeah, if I wasn't gonna do my hair like this, this is a hairstyle I do all the time. I just braid, like literally bring my hair to the back, braid it, and then bring it to one side and hit flops. And then I let the fronts come out. But um, because we're doing like five minute looks and stuff, and I wanted to kind of show you like the HRH look or whatever that everyone misses so much. Um, if I wasn't gonna wear my hair down, like that. Um, I would do my bun that everyone loves. So I'll just do it now um, so everyone can see the look. So yeah, I do still wear this look and I wanted to show you guys how I do it now again. Um, I hope everyone liked this video and um, let me see, what else should I talk about? That's it, I guess everyone has a great week. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. Okay, bye.